direct and inverse proportions. We come across many such situations in our day-to-day -day life where we need to see variation in one quantity bringing in variation in the other quantity. Direct Proportions When the number of pencils increases, the cost also increases. When the population increases, the apartments also increases. As the number of bundles increases, their weight increases accordingly. As the radius of circle increases, area also increases. In the afternoon, when the time increases, shadow of the electric pole also increases. Take a clock and fix its minute and hour hands at 12. Various angles are formed by rotating the hour hand each time from 12. As the hour and reaches 3, the angle 90 degree is formed. When the hour hand reaches 6, the angle 180 degree is formed. When the hour hand reaches 9, the angle 270 degree is formed. When the hour hand reaches back to 12, the angle 360 degree is formed. Here we observe that as the time increases, the degree of the angle also increases. By simplifying every ratio in T by A, we get 1 by 30. That is, T by A is a constant. Therefore, we can say that T is directly proportional to A. And electric pole 14 meters high has a shadow of 10 meters. Find the height of another pole that has a shadow of 15 meters under similar conditions. Let the height of another pole be x meter. When the length of the shadow increases, the height of the object also increases. Therefore, this is a case of direct proportion.
that is x1 by y1 equals to x2 by y2 we have 14 by 10 equals to x by 15 so 14 into 15 by 10 equals to x By simplifying this, we get the height of another pole as 21 meters. Two quantities x and y are said to be in direct proportion. If they increase together in such a manner that the ratio of their corresponding values remains constant. That is, if x by y equals to k, then x and y are said to vary directly. Here, k is a positive number. Inverse proportions. In the forenoon, as the time increases, shadow of the electric pole decreases. Tony has six balls. He arranges them in three different ways. To place them in one row, he needs six columns. To place them in two rows, he needs three columns. To place them in three rows, he needs two columns. As the number of rows increases, the number of columns decreases. Here, the number of rows and the number of columns are in inverse proportion. Let us take three containers of different sizes with circular base. We shall pour the same amount of water in each container. We see that when the diameter of the container increases, the height of the water level decreases. Take a paper and fold it as you see on the screen. When the number of parts increases, area of each part decreases. Vimal is making a wheel using spokes. He wants to fix equal spokes in such a way that the angles between any pair of consecutive spokes are equal. When he fixes two spokes, the angle 180 degree is formed. Four spokes, the angle 90 degree is formed. Six spokes, the angle 60 degree is formed. 8 spokes, 
the angle 45 degree is formed. 10 spokes, the angle 36 degree is formed. Let us see the relationship between the number of spokes and the angle formed between the pair of consecutive spokes. As the number of spokes increases, the angle decreases. So, they are in inverse proportion. In all the cases, we get xy equals to 360 degree. That is a constant. Five pipes are required to fill a tank in one hour and 20 minutes. How long will it take if only four pipes are of the same type are used? Let the desired time to fill the tank be X minutes. As the number of pipes decreases, the time required to fill the tank increases. So, this is a case of inverse proportion. Therefore, Y is Z equals to a constant. Hence, 5 into 80 equals to 4 into x. 5 into 80 divided by 4 equals to x. So, x equals to 100 minutes. The time taken to fill the tank by four pipes is 100 minutes, which is 1 hour and 40 minutes. Two quantities may change in such a manner that if one quantity increases, the other decreases. That is, if x, y equals to a constant, then x and y are said to vary inversely.